Greetings. Today, we will be discussing the concept of trophic levels. The trophic level is the position of the group of organisms in the food chain or food web. As we have learned, troph means nourishment. So, trophic level means the level of nourishment of the organisms. The concept of trophic levels is based on how organisms obtain their energy. Let us define the trophic level. A trophic level is a hierarchical position within an ecosystem's food chain or food web, representing the organism's feeding relationship and its source of energy. It indicates the position of an organism in terms of energy transfer and nutrient flow within the ecosystem. Each trophic level has a specific role in the transfer of energy from one organism to another. Hierarchical Positions of Organisms The first position, or level, belongs to the primary producer. The autotrophic organisms produce their own food. So, they are in the first level of nourishment. The second level is occupied by the herbivores known as the primary consumer. The third position is of carnivores that consumes herbivores and is called secondary consumer or carnivore level 1. The fourth level organisms are the carnivores that consumes the secondary consumers. They are called tertiary consumers or carnivore level 2. At the base of the trophic level are the primary producers, which are autotrophic organisms capable of synthesizing their own food using sunlight or chemical energy from inorganic compounds. They form the foundation of the food chain. Examples of primary producers include green plants, algae, and some bacteria. Above the primary producers are the primary consumers, which are herbivores that feed directly on the primary producers to obtain their energy. They consume plant material and convert it into their own biomass. Examples of primary consumers include animals like rabbits, deer, and grasshoppers. Then comes the secondary consumers. These are carnivores that primarily feed on herbivores. Carnivores are solely meat eaters, while omnivores have a mixed diet, consuming both plant and animal material. Examples of secondary consumers include carnivorous animals like snakes, hawks, and some fish species. At the highest trophic level are the tertiary consumers, which are top predators that feed on other carnivores and sometimes even other tertiary consumers. They have few or no predators within the ecosystem and play a critical role in controlling the populations of lower trophic levels. Examples of tertiary consumers include large predators like lions, eagles, and killer whales. So, we get the trophic level 1, 2, 3, and 4. In some ecosystems, there can be additional trophic levels, such as quaternary consumers, predators that feed on tertiary consumers. Now let us summarize. Today we understand that all autotrophic organisms are at the first trophic level known as the primary producer. All herbivores are in the second trophic level also known as the primary consumer. The third trophic level is occupied by the consumers that feed on the herbivores.
they are leveled as secondary consumers and also known as carnivore level 1. The fourth level is called the tertiary consumer or carnivore level 2. They feed on the primary consumers. There may be a fifth level also. They will be called quaternary consumers at the top of the trophic level. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will learn about energy flow in ecosystem.